Hi pals, welcome to Tim's vlog. This is an interactive platform where your opinion and views are most welcome. Please be reminded to draft comments that do not contravene the guidelines of this platform. Please like, please subscribe. It helps the algorithm of this video. Thank you, cheers. A yet to be identified lady has called out the newly wedded Oni of Ife's wife, Queen Miriam Anako Ogunwusi, that she apparently snatched him from her. In her statements, you can see, you can hear that she was. Would I use the word side chick? But she had something romantic with the Oni of Ife. And along the line, she's claiming that Olori Miriam snatched the Oni from her. Let's listen to this voice note together before we commence with the commentary and the gists. Good afternoon, Kabiyosi. I saw the um, this month um, my status update that you forwarded to me. Yes, Baba. I'm sorry. Without due respect, I don't have a regret. One moment there. She's even claiming that the only munched her status updates to her um allegedly munched her status update giving the um impression that she actually was calling out queen miriam on her status and people who are following her that have access to the kbc sent those screenshots to the to the king Let's continue listening. You alone when you feel your game area on your own. I fit you about fear, but see only a joy. Yes. Oh, she, oh, she, she, for to leave you alone, love was if only. I want to know, don't know, Johnny, for to know, see me. Don't you share, I want to know, I'm just share, brother. And for me to put something up my status is because I know that the world people will see it. So I'm sending it back to her. She is a coward. She is a hypocrite. A woman cannot bully any church or woman. A lot boss see me. She's a pretentious human being. Yes. A woman pretend to be good to the world. Mm. But on the mama sheleni. That's why I call her snake. I don't have a problem with her. Trust me. The only thing to me, I am only to only achieve, to only do me like you. Only go fair or nourish. If not, go to the private jet phone and um, brag you on that um, 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 she supermarket if you in your name oh a lot of agreement to take journey whatever the book of my year no funny so faithful thing in me i know there's nothing i can say that you believe it's always them against me i'm used to it there's no problem but like i said time will tell baba time will tell she's a pretender in your she should stop pretending to be good she be wedding the she she born pe awon na won no gbogbo pe so pe eran ni kon le le file awon na she eh o fowo ro kon ni that's a problem awon obirin kon wa pe ko okunrin will do everything lati fe won obirin awon ara asa ara won obirin pe okunrin will spend the whole world lati fi won se yawo 
Uh -huh. So it's not about anything. So oh, we need. Oh, no matter. Oh, she be she's the one that is that is impressing you. She's the one that is going all that so that she can buy your love, so that she can be a queen, so that she can be a yellow, so everybody can love her. Eh, we ni wala. E mi sha ko ma ba san gbe si e. Eh eh, so she has achieved it. She's a queen. Congratulations to her. Boko si bi eyan she le pretend it to laye. Ashiri e ba tu. Time will tell. Yes, time will tell. I did not put those things there for people not. I put it there because I want people to see them and I want them to get back to her. Yes, I want to wa do you start trusting me. So much I want to get him on daughter lot ton lot to refu in February. I want to get him mo pe e se e ya se right ifun ni September. I want to get him mo everything. So go go abai la was surrounded with enemies. Yes, that's what the world is all about. Thank you, Baba. That's the voice note. Good afternoon, Kabiyesi. That's the the viral voice note. For non Yoruba speakers, what the lady in the voice notes is saying is that Queen Miriam used to be her friend and queen Mi and she was the one that was in a relationship with the king but somehow queen not even somehow she said because queen miriam has money to throw around she could buy the king's love that she built him a shopping center The she's the one that sponsored the wedding. That she has been, you know, involved financially in the Oni's heart in the own Oni's life, and she believes that it's also written that she will be with the king. That's why those um financial gestures could captivate the king enough to marry her. So she's literally upset and she's calling her out that we don't know the lady. Her identity is not yet revealed. But if this is not staged and truly the, the only of Ife forwarded her WhatsApp status because she gave hints that the only of Ife forwarded her WhatsApp status and she's claiming that yes, truly she called her out. That means the only of Ife knows who did the who whose voice is this. Queen Miriam also would know based on the information that this lady has given. And if it's staged, then that's crazy. Because if she's fished out, she's going to be in some really serious trouble for trying to stage a scandal. And my concern again is, yes, we cannot question the king. But if truly the situation have is if, if truly the situation is what it is, how come the king still has contact of a girlfriend that he has now married her friend? Because this is quite shocking. This is not even, if it's a real situation, the Queen Miriam herself will feel off about it. For the king to still have a contact, for her to still be able to communicate with the king and have such access. The king has just married, if I'm, if I'm right, in the past month that we have seen, about four wives. I'm talking of the past month. Like the celebrations that we have seen that the king has married wives. There are about four wives. So I want to honestly believe that the king should actually be very busy with his wives to have time to still be communicating. And ah, I'm even shocked that someone can have such access to the king's WhatsApp. It's very downgrading. It doesn't even sound honorable. Let's see the comment section, what people have to say. 
Olorun ma tu Ashiri Gbogbon, please Naomi hold your peace. Naomi used to be the ex Olori, the one that that recently divorced the king last year. God Almighty will fight for you. And that lady sounds really bitter. Anyway, the lady that sent this voice note. Because if the king counted her worthy to be his wife, I guess he would have married her as well. Ah, and there's just so scandal. There's, there are so many scandalous stories with regards to women surrounding the king. Ah, the king is the king appears too polished for this. So many, especially now that he has just married four wives, we don't want to be hearing this sort of stories anymore. With all due respect, definitely. In Africa, you cannot, and I guess in many parts of the world, you can't question the king, definitely. We are not questioning the king. Because the women also had a choice to involve themselves in polygamy or not. So what are your thoughts? But a wedding that is so newly established, they just even had that, they just formalized the celebration of this union last over the weekend. Over the weekend. Today is the 19th of October, 2022. And these kind of stories. So these kind of stories are already coming up. And whoever sent that voice note or made it viral, which I believe is the lady who sent this voice note that intentionally made it out there because she knows it's going to make headlines. That's how I feel. It might not be true. She has the intention of ruining the supposed honeymoon that Queen Miriam would be enjoying with the king at this moment. And I think that's very unfair. The king is a polygamist. We know African kings are polygamist. So, this wreaks jealousy, this wreaks anger, this, you know, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't even say well of the person who sent this voice note. And if you think probably the king is going to begin to hate her for this, your voice note, you're, you're wasting your time. She even alleged that the Queen Miriam was cheating or is cheating, not was. She said, do you think she's faithful to you? That's what she said. So she wants to tamper with their mood. Because the king actually seems very happy that he's, um, this Queen Miriam is the, the now first wife of this union. And he re in his vote of t thanks to the guests who came, for the celebration over the weekend he showed his excitement he showed his happiness that is he has found a new queen and now then in just a few days this kind of story is coming out i'll leave it here for now take care and please remember to subscribe remember to share and like Thank you for staying tuned.